hey, so I made a video, I think about five years ago, about what lucid dreaming feels like. And the problem is, since then, a lot has changed. And to be honest, that video was not very good. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what lucid dreaming feels like in different categories. So for example, pain, pleasure, mind altering experiences, random things, and kind of like random other things as well. So first, let's talk about so first, let's talk about pain. Now, pain in a lucid dream feels very different to pain in real life. They both still feel like they hurt. So when you have a painful experience in a lucid dream, let's say if somebody throws a box at your head or something, or if you get punched, it's, it's still going to feel painful. It's, it's, just, it's still going to feel painful. It's still going to seem like it hurts, but it won't be the same type of intensity of pain as it is in waking life. In waking life, it's going to feel both... Uh, neurological and also physical. You're going to feel the effects of the pain in two different ways. Physical and then also your mind thinking about the pain which kind of reinforces the physical. In a dream you don't have the physical pain, you just have the mental pain. So you only have one side of what is normally a two-part pain equation. I hope that makes sense. The, long story short it doesn't hurt as much because you only have the perception of pain instead of the actual nerve signals firing which they do when you have physical pain. So what that means is there's a limit and it doesn't actually, it's not actually that bad. When you have, when you have a, when you experience pain in a dream, it's just not that bad compared to waking life because it's only one side of the equation. You don't have the physical pain. So that's good news. Okay, now pleasure. So we're talking specifically about more sensual experiences in a dream. These can tend to feel in the moment, they can tend to feel more pleasurable than waking life when you're in the dream. But the memory of them is of course not as pleasurable and it, the memory of them is not as good as the memory of real life pleasurable experiences. And that's because in the dream, again, you only have the mental aspect of the pleasure. You don't have the physical sensations. You, your nerves are not firing in the same way or even at all compared to in physical life when you have pleasure in a dream. So again, it feels to your brain, it feels and seems like it's really intense in the moment, but it's not as intense as waking life. So it's kind of similar to pain in that regard. By the way, apparently only 80 by the way, apparently only 20% or less of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if that's you, maybe consider subscribing. It would really help me out. And it means that you get notified about new content and stuff like that. Okay, so here's where things get really interesting. Time dilation. So what does time dilation feel like in a lucid dream? Well, the, ex the perception of the passing of time is vastly different in a dream compared to waking life, but there are some similarities. So when you're in a dream and you're doing loads of crazy things, you're doing having different experiences and it's like one thing after another, you know, you're going from adventure to adventure. What tends to happen is that you, it seems like lots of time is passing, way more time than is actually passing. And this is hence the time dilation, right? It feels, you, and this is where the experience of feeling like you're in a dream for several weeks when realistically, it's just a few minutes, okay? This is similar, not the same, but this is similar to in waking life when, I don't know if you were, what it was like when you were a kid, but for me, when I was younger and the summer holidays came around, those six weeks of, hol of uh, holidays from school felt like years because in those six weeks, I would do lots of activities. You know, I would go camping, go swimming, maybe go on a little trip, do various things. Every day felt like uh, a week because there was, n there was no schedule or routine. It was just kind of, do fun, exciting things constantly for six weeks. It's the same sort of thing in a dream. When you do really lots of adventurous and exciting things back to back, it feels like more time is passing, or at least it feels like time is passing slower to you and you're packing more into it. Okay, so the next one is mind altering experiences. What do these feel like in a lucid dream? And for these, again, it depends on the experience, but for me, I'm going to talk about one of my experiences, which is lucid transcendence. I've made a video about this, which you can just find in my channel. And this is where I basically was able to dissolve the dream scene. So I was able, so I became lucid, became aware of the fact that I was dreaming and I levitated my body up. So I was kind of like laying, but floating while laying down and I dissolved everything around me. So all I could see was just white light. It wasn't coming from anywhere. It was just kind of like filling everything I could perceive. Every space around me was just white light. And I experienced several emotions at the same time and different sensations all at the same time, including pain. So it was like pain, pleasure, excitement, happiness, sad, all these different emotions that you can think about. I experienced them all at the same time in this lucid transcendence experience. 
So that was quite overwhelming. And to be honest, there's no actual way of describing to you what that feels like other than just saying it's like experiencing all the emotions at the same time. That's just one example. There are many things you can do in lucid dreams like lucid transcendence where you, you can't really describe how it feels in your everyday waking language. You have to actually experience it. You can't describe how it, the experience feels. And then there are some other things that you can do. For example, you can ask the dream to show you something surprising. And this is something which it's not for beginners because what will often happen is the dream will show you something so crazy that you just you will not be prepared for it. So this is not for beginners, but if you want an experience or if you want to have some kind of crazy dream, get lucid and tell the dream to show you something surprising. All right, so you're still here. It's the end of the video. I want to tell... So if you're still here at this end of the video section, I want to tell you about my Lucid Breakthrough program, which if you want to learn how to control your dreams, it kind of guarantees that. I mean, it does guarantee that within two weeks. If it doesn't work, it's free. So there's really no downside for you. And I've put a lot of effort into the program. It's kind of the su a summary of my over 10 years of experience researching, studying and practicing and teaching lucid dreaming. Con con it's a summary of that kind of condensed into one program that you can just follow step by step and it guarantees that you'll control your dreams very quick. And so if you are interested in that, you can get it at howtolucid.com and the link is in the description. And really I'd like to hear you comment right now, just like kind of as you're listening to me, scroll down and click like on the video, subscribe if you're not already, and then comment what you think lucid dreaming feels like. So what, what has the experience felt like for you? I really would be interested to hear that.